Anybody else with some questions on that? Are you guys good on pressing? Or do you need anything with that? For what kind of defense? Well, let's just go over it all. All right, if we're in a man situation, Max, take the ball out. Everybody else, get off the court. Gallo's guarding me. Justin, guard the ball, let's just say. Everybody else, just move. All right, so he's guarding me. And oh, it's a man to man. All right, first of all, always tell your people to start here. Okay, because it just gives you more equity in the court. All right, even the ball goes out, hey, we can outlet it quick, cool, but then we wouldn't have a press. All right, but if it's in one, we're out of timeout, dead ball. Hey, man, we're going to start here. You have to have one person who can beat, to, beat him, okay? Figure out how to get open, whatever it is, get open. If you have to end up having another person up here, it's all good, doesn't matter. We would just end up running into setting a screen here, and it's kind of like the uh, baseline out of bounds. I'd go this way, he'd roll back to the ball that way. You could stack them at the top, same thing, all right? But at the whole situation where we end up talking about a man press and I got the ball, I'm catching the ball here, and I'm saying, Max, leave, get out the way, hurry up, and take Justin with you. I got to be able to get the ball up the court. That's why we do one-on-one -on -one zigzag, all right? I got to be able to get the ball up the court one-on-one. -on -one. One -on one-on-one in basketball is an advantage. That is a numbers advantage in basketball, believe it or not. You have to be good enough to be one person. Okay, beating two, now we're at a disadvantage, but you gotta be good enough to be one person. Now, if we get into a zone situation, uh, let's go a diamond, I guess. Diamond is good enough. So red, you'll be on offense. Black will take defense. I will take the top of a diamond. Two and two. Well, we go one, two, two, one. I mean, what do you want them doing? That's a one, two, two, actually. Sorry, one there and then one back. Stop, go back there first. So technically, defensively, this is a diamond, right? Okay, diamond press. Coach Gallo's telling him to go this way and guard him, the backside of the diamond, because he has to because the ball's on this side of the court, right? So you still have to, any zone, it's still gonna go into some type of man principles, right? And we got a man up, he's gotta guard that side, otherwise we get the ball there, we're done, okay? Good, so now from here, because it's a uh, odd man front, you wanna counter the even man front, so from here, these guys are just pick one side, whatever, some guy decides. Now, the big thing you don't wanna do is you don't want your point guard or your guard to catch the ball so deep into the baseline. Because when that happens and they don't have room, and the big thing that we teach our guards against traps is to really use a retreat dribble. Okay, you gotta be able to use a retreat dribble to create space. So Brian, where you call the ball right there, that's way too deep in the baseline. So if he wants to do a retreat dribble, he can't do it. So the big thing you wanna do is if you can catch the ball right here, or even right here, or even right here, now I have room to be able to retreat when there's, when there's a trap that comes. Okay, so now from here, they say, you know, they do the same thing, they break it out. Boom, we're getting, getting the Brian, Brian. Now, Diamonds normally would run trap, absolutely. So, as soon as they trap, Max has to step in and get in the play, okay? Be a reversal pass, okay? So right now, they're running the trap, so now Starks has to guard two to have this out, okay? Normally, a good trapping team will take away the next pass. Boom, that's fine, okay? If he does that, Tom, because he's diagonal, would come racing through the middle with his hands up, trying to get the basketball, okay? If he can get it there, that's what we want. He throws it to the middle, middle kills any kind of zone, any kind of trap. Throw it to the middle, boom, square up. Always want to square up. Now we got him racing, there we go. Big thing here, all right, what Tom's doing. Once we got the ball at Krebs, Tom's job isn't over. He doesn't pass, and now Krebs is fine, okay? Because if Krebs goes, now Liam Kimmel can stop. Back here, way too far, come back. All right, come back, give it to Tom. Give it to Tom. Okay, he caught, he squared up. Liam Kim took him for a second. Now Tom throws that pass to the king. What do you do? He's going to run and take the ball. So now he keeps running. Now it's just a two on two situation. We want Tom to keep going so that we can continue to have our three on two. Go back to the middle. Boom. Now we can play three on two. So the play's never really over for you in the middle. All right, we say get it to the middle, go to the sideline. You want to keep going up the full. You never want to just leave your teammates. Out to join. And that's a big thing that I see at the high school level. These guys get in the middle, they reverse it out, and now we're off to the races, and this guy stands. Then it's two on two, <coughs> and we kind of really lose our advantage. Three on two. Okay, so go back and show that again. Here's the thing you guys got to um, teach your players 
and it, there's no play that's going to, you're just going to have to teach them this. You got to run to the open space and you have to want the ball. We can give you any type of situation, but in that same situation, if he comes here, and this is what happens a lot, right? And we pass the ball here, and then Liam's kind of playing middle, you're over there playing that, stop. He's just going to kind of run and hide behind Liam because he really doesn't want the ball. Because it's a pressure situation and the kids are scared. So they never really run to get the basketball. They never really run to the open spot. They just kind of run and hide. You're going to have to teach your players to want the ball. Okay, they're going to have to want it because any type of situation we're going to give you, if they don't want the basketball and they just kind of run behind the defender, it's never going to work. Okay, if we get the ball back here. Boom. Now from here, you obviously want to get it to the other side so you can just stretch out the defense more. So Starks will take here. These guys are scrambling. He would almost try to trap, but really know he won't be able to. He's going to reverse it right away. Boom. Now they want to attack it before we want to go. Now from here, stop. Boom. Okay, from here, just like when the ball was there on that side, Tom came in through the middle. If the ball is on this side, now I want Silva to come in the middle to be able to allow him to have that pass. Now he goes, and it goes Brian Jett, boom, he passes. Now the other Silva goes guard, now he's going to keep coming up the floor to our three on two. Does that make sense? Any questions there? So wherever the ball, whatever side the ball is on, opposite guy, diagonal, has got to flash to the middle, always want to flash to the middle. 